Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to generate the overview of bibliometric data extracted from the databases such as Web of Science or Scopus and BiblioShiny. So for this we will go in R. In my previous video I have already explained how to install the bibliometrics package. Still I repeat, right in the first line install.packages bibliometrics. This is the first method for installation. The second method is going tools, install packages and write down here bibliometrics. Make sure that your internet connection is on. Click on this bibliometric, bibliometrics, press install, done. After the installation is over, it is necessary that you activate its library. This can be done by running the command library bibliometrics run and then you run the command biblioshiny run. So biblioshiny app will get activated. Now we will have to fetch the data. This can be done from here. Click here, import or load, done. Now go on the right hand side, click here, import the raw file. So the database which you can import are Web of Science, Scopus, Dimensions, OpenLX, Lens.org, PubMed. So I'll activate Scopus because I'm having a data set of Scopus. Browse, click here, Scopus, press open, and just press start. So it will give me the initial information about the completeness of the metadata. So it tells me that for abstract the data is excellent author, excellent and good, good, acceptable. For keywords plus it is critical and science categories are completely missing. No problem. Click close. Now we want to generate the overview of this file. Click here, overview, main information. So it will generate something like a data a dashboard. So it gives me the information that the time span considered in this bibliometric data is from 1933 to 2022. 164 sources are there, documents 236. Annual growth rate is 4.04 percentage, authors 539. Authors of the single authored document 48. International co authorship 27.97 percentage. Co authors per doc is 2.62. Authors keywords 701. References 11524. Document average is 8.3. Average citations per doc 8.792. The same information you can get in the table format. Click here. And you can also get this in the Excel format. Just click here and it's available. Now, I can also include this in the reports by pressing this plus sign, add results to the report. So the report is generated at the last, just here. Now we will proceed further. Annual scientific production. Now what is this? Let's try to understand. So annual scientific production refers to the number of research publications produced within a specific year by a researcher, institutions, country or scientific field. It is an important bibliometric indicator used to track research output over the time. So let's go in the BiblioShiny app. Click here. So on x-axis we are having the year, on y-axis articles. So this is the peak year 2021, number of documents 49. And this is the decline, number of documents 34. The same information I can get in table format. Click here, table, page one, page two, page three, and this is the last page. So we will do the interpretation from 2013 to 2022. I can add this in reports or I can download in uh, PNG format. Right. So let's do the interpretation. We start with the 2030, 2013 to 2015 slow growth phase. The number of publications increased gradually from 3 to 9. Growth is steady but relatively slow. 2016 to 2018 moderate growth. A surprise in scientific production from 14 to 19. This suggests increasing research interest or funding support. 
2019 slight decline a small drop in output possibly due to resource constraints policy changes so here there are only 17 publications possibly due to resource constraints policy changes or shifts in research focus 2020 to 2021 rapid expansion a significant jump to 26 publications possibly due to increased research funding or global events like covid 19 a huge surge to 49 publications seen in 2021 the peak in the data set indicating major advancements or a strong research momentum in this area 2022 decline after the peak publications dropped to 34 which although lower than 2021 is still higher than pre-2020 levels this might indicate the stabilization of our, after an exceptionally high research output year Average citations per year. Average citations per year is a bibliometric metric that measures the average number of citations a research paper, author, journal or institution receives annually since the publications. It helps to assess the impact and influence of a scholarly work over the time. So average citations per year is total citations divided by the citable years. What are, what are the citable, citable years? number of years since the article was published average citations per year indicates strong sorry higher average citations per year indicates strong influence relevance and frequent referencing in other works lower average citations per year suggest limited impact or a niche research area so this i can get it from here average citations per year just see the trend in table format so this is mean total citations per article. This is mean total citations per year and these are the citable years. Now let's do the interpretation. Year, the publication year of the research articles. Mean TC per article is the average total citations per article for that year. So mean TC per year is mean TC per article divided by citable years. So for a group of articles, the average is taken across all articles in the data set. And the number of articles published in that year. Mean TC per year is the average citations received per year since publication. Citable years, the number of years since the publication that can be considered for citation analysis. Interpretation of the data. Early publications, 1933 to 1977, we don't have any citations. Just here, the number is 0, 0, 0. So this phase we consider to be the dormant research. Articles from 1933, 1964 and 1977 have mean TC per article is 0, indicating that they were never cited. These papers might be outdated, possible reasons. These papers might be outdated, inaccessible, or in fields with a limited research continuation. Moderation citation growth, that is from 1992 to 2003. The 1992 paper has three citations over 34 years, with a mean TC per year of 0 0.09, indicating a low but existing recognition. The 2001 and 2003 publications gained more attention. So you can see the ratio here. This suggests the increasing engagement with research from this period. Peak citation period, that is from 2005 to 2006. The 2005 publications have an average of 24.67 citations per article with the mean TC per year of 1.17. The ratio is increasing, showing a higher impact. The 2006 papers have 22.5 citations per article with a mean TC per year of 1.12. This indicates research published in these years had a notable influence and engagement. Decline in citations seen in 2004 and 2007. Articles from 2004 and 2007 received no citations, possibly due to low visibility, relevance or limited research continuation in those fields. Now, let's understand the three-field plot. A three-field plot is a 
bipartite network visualization that connects three bibliometric elements. It shows how these elements are linked through common entities. So we can have a three field plot of authors, keywords, journals, countries, institutions, topics, sources, authors, and keywords. So common types of three field plots and bibliotheca are authors, keywords, and journals. Now how we can generate this? So for this we will go in Biblioshiny, activate the three field plot, press this play button and we are having the three field plot. So let's clean it a little bit. Go in the settings or the options here. In left field, activate the countries. In the middle field, authors. See, there are many options available. Left field, we can have authors, affiliations, countries, keywords, keywords plus, tiles, abstract, uh, titles, abstract sources. So here we will keep countries and make this as only five. In the middle field, keep the authors. In the right field, keep the keywords. Everywhere make it five, five. And just press this play button. So Malaysia, who are the authors? Bukhari and Hassim, Bangladesh, Nisha, Iqbal, Nisha. Uh, what are the keywords or, or uh, the papers theme it reflects? The papers theme it reflects, right? Now this is the density, okay? This is the density. Now what does it mean? We have seen the common types of three field, three field plots such as authors, keywords, journals, countries, institutions, keywords. Now, how to interpret this? See, stronger connectivity, thicker lines, indicates a high frequency of co-occurrence between the entities. Example, if an author is linked to a multiple keywords, it suggests they are frequently published in those areas. Weaker connectivity, thinner lines, suggest less frequent associations between the entities. If a journal has a fewer keyword links, it may have a narrower research focus. So, uh, in Malaysia, these are the two significant authors. Just see this density of this. In Bangladesh, these are the three significant authors and in India. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk about the Bukhari. And the major work is in green banking. And here, green banking, Nisha uh, talks about sustainability as well as a corporate social responsibility also. So this was all about how to generate the overview of the bibliometric data in BiblioShiny. For more videos on bibliometric analysis, please subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded many videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also join me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.